fever, headache, lethargy. A common set of symptoms for those coming to this makeshift health clinic in Palin province on the Cambodia-Thai border. Volunteer village health worker Long Vuti takes the patient's blood sample and tests for malaria, a parasitic disease spread by mosquitoes. A positive or negative result is confirmed within minutes. This region is a hot spot for a drug-resistant strain of malaria, and it's critical that patients get help as soon as possible. The malaria here in our village, in Pailin province, can kill people in a short period of time if we don't have the right treatment. Malaria resistant to regular forms of treatment was confirmed in Western Cambodia eight years ago, likely as a result of patients taking an incorrect or incomplete course of anti-malarial drugs. To control the spread of this drug-tolerant form, health workers must catch cases early and ensure patients strictly follow the right treatment plan. Now this is being made easier through an SMS alert system, a pilot project involving some 230 volunteers across four provinces. Village malaria workers provide details of any new cases in a mobile phone text message that in a second is forwarded to regional anti-malaria workers as well as the National Ministry of Health. Peng Vinyao trains health workers how to use the system. It's easy for them to send the information up to a national level or to staff at the local health centre. In this way, there can be intervention and the patient can get treatment quickly. While villages here can be remote with poor road access, they're often still within reach of the mobile phone network. Once the SMS alert is sent out, a blood sample is quickly collected and double-checked to ensure the diagnosis and therefore treatment is correct. The system also maps new malaria cases using Google Earth, allowing health workers to monitor trends and take swift action. The effectiveness lies in the fact that it's quick. There's no delay time for the patient, so their condition won't become more serious. Preventative measures have already helped Cambodia reduce malaria infection rates, but with a continued threat of the drug-resistant strain, health workers know they'll have to continue innovating to snare this deadly disease.